Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video here today or part of my channel guys. Today my friends, welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 2 Quartic Strikes Back Remastered. A part of the Insane Trilogy and the seat is today as you've seen from the tile. I'm going to show you a fast easy method on how to get 99 lives really easily, really quickly within Crash 2. And it's very simple. All we need to do is go to this level here called B8. And there's going to be a certain spot on this map where we can literally just keep farming lives. And honestly, if you're trying to get the 99 lives a achievement or trophy, then this is going to be the fastest method you're going to be able to do. It literally, you can do this like within like 15 minutes. It's so easy. So I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. And personally, there's two ways you can do it. You can do it without the time rally activated, or you can do it with. So personally, I would use the time rally just because if you die or screw it up for whatever reason you're not going to lose any lives so all you need to do is just go exactly where I'm going at the moment make your way through the map and when you get to this particular set of bees, this beehive thing here all you need to do is get yourself in position and you just need to slide into the bees and spin that's all you need to do, then move back slide and spin move back, slide and spin literally and as you can see, I'm getting ridiculous lives. And I can keep doing this for as long as I want. But I'm going to do these sorts of guides as well, like, in case you guys ever need help with this sort of thing. And um, just be able to, you know, help you out when it comes to getting these trophies or achievements if you're trying to, like, get platinum and everything on the PlayStation and stuff. I just thought, you know what, little things like this, you know, might help you guys out. All the, all the main achievements and stuff. Or trophies or seaters, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to pick a run out, but this sort of thing, I know that it will become quite useful. There's multiple methods as well in different Crash Bandicoot games, and how you can get lies really quickly, and I know Crash Bandicoot 3, which is Crash Warped, um, obviously has quite a few methods as well, so make sure you look out for more videos like this in the future, okay? I'm just going to keep grinding my way over to literally 99 lives. Before I bring this video to an end. Because I need to obviously show that you can do that. And obviously once you hit 99 lives you can't obviously go over that. So yeah, literally. It's just so easy. Yeah, man. lives now. Come on, 48 more to go. Well, 30 more. 38 more, sorry. 48 more. We need to learn to count. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, it's been a lot of fun, like, collecting all of the uh, trophies for this game and stuff. I've had, a I've had an absolute blast playing this game and collecting, obviously, the uh, everything. He's just been fun collecting all the gems, the relics and stuff. And I want to do this sort of thing more in the future as well. Be able to give you useful guides for certain things and be able to get more platforms and stuff and showcase in the videos and talk about the experiences and stuff. And I feel like I'm going to keep trying to ski in more in that direction as well a little bit more now. And hopefully you like these sort of videos because it's a little bit something different compared to just seeing walkthrough videos and just me playing the game through and then that's it. You know what I mean? Just being able to proper put some time into particular games and just be able to showcase the ending result and or showcase little cool things like this. Alright, so let's get back to my little spot now. See how easy it is. And all I'm literally doing is just moving back and forward. And obviously I'm clicking circle because obviously I'm playing this on my PlayStation. And then hitting square. That's literally it. I can literally do this one-handed because I've got like hands and stuff, so I can 
nearly crossed my controller fairly easy, but it's just so simple and an easy method. If I come across any more of the cool methods like this though guys, I will make them into videos if it's something that you want to see. Just let me know down below in the comment section. Almost there now. And you know what? We'll do another one for good luck. Are you ready? There we go. <laughs> easy. Another one for good luck. Right. So as you can see guys, that's the easiest method in the on how to do this. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to back myself back out to the walk room. And obviously I'm going to bring this video to an end. If you have enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new. Hopefully this method helps you out a lot if it is that you're trying to get 99 lives. But like I said, short and sweet little video. I'll have more sort of videos like this in the future. So if you want to see these sorts of things again in the future on different games and stuff. Then let me know down below in the comment section. Anyways, have a great day, guys, and I'll see you again next time.